Mais n'a-t-il pas remis Well, first, I would like to start. Uh, with reference to medicine. Uh, in the 19th century, a big university of Wien in Austria. Uh, we can talk about the reason why when they tried, when children were born, to analyze the difference in the mortality rate of infants between children that were treated by the nurses and those who instead were the delivery was performed by physicians. Those who were delivered by nurses were healthy. The others, with the intervention of physicians, uh, died at the delivery. There was a high uh, rate of mortality. And so, summer wise, made this observation that regarded uh, particularly the uh, fever and physicians uh, in the post-mortem studies, it turned out that they didn't wash their hands. It might sound trivial for that time, but many things were unknown at that time, so the natural hygiene conditions played a role. The uh, purple uh, fever was then analyzed, of course. So the nurses uh, were capable of uh, delivering healthy children instead. So these observations that made Summerwise important in this discovery of purple fever that often led to sepsis in children. Uh, well, for some of us, instead, it uh, led to certain problems. It was, you know, cast aside from the university. It was hated uh, by the colleagues. And nevertheless, by not applying what he had discovered with this serendipity, so to say, in the end, the mortality rate was increasing because these indications of that kind of hygienic conditions were not complied with. So why am I referring to this? Because we are faced with certain situations we are, of course, developing a certain knowledge. And today, what is given for granted, like vaccines instead have huge implications. There are many factors, mycotoxins, uh, DNA, of course, is involved. So in all countries across the globe, from India to America, We have gathered the evidence also here in this, so to say, neglected Italy. We are developing a new piece of research that has to be tabled to the multinationals and companies. So we, of course, need to go into depth in this topic. And if we need to get a higher commitment in the manufacturing to get maybe more expensive vaccines. Well, it's for the sake of the health of our new generations. So we should not obstacle this scientific truth 
that was often underestimated. As we have seen, there have been deaths that have been clearly concealed and denied. And so, even from the uh, British Medical Journal, and so we needed to give a logical explanation. Anyway, this phenomenon cannot be denied. It cannot be denied that these deaths were related to the vaccines, as the colleague, the pediatrician, told us. So we have personally been engaged, and the, or the president of the Board of Biologists decided to cast light on this situation. And so today, this morning, or yesterday in the afternoon, at the Chamber of Deputies, and today as well, awareness has been raised. I didn't uh, read the news, uh, the press news today. Anyway, this new awareness has to be a starting point because we can have vaccines that, of course, need to be healthy as food. as the, the last speaker just suggested. The microbiome that is by now well known has to be further investigated to see whether the interleukins that have been neglected instead uh, were started by Rosberg in the 90s play a role. And so there is also a, a cultural mindset that has to be somehow uh, changed. So I think that after 10 months, from the 2nd of March, when finally we started to introduce the democratic science, the free science, a serious science, if you allow me, Ten months went by, and now we are focusing on this aspect of vaccines that has to become a point of reference to improve our future generations. That, of course, is important also for the elderly, for a better quality of life. So uh, preventing to expose through uh, simple vaccination the Yambare syndrome risk. And so this is my opinion. The audience is tired, maybe. And uh, I do not have many things to add. But allow me to, to thank the speakers and to thank Loretta Bolgan, who was in, an important pillar in the organization of this conference. To my friends, allow me to, to call you as friends, as I really have a profound esteem for Professor Giuliani and Tarro who accompanied us with their authoritative role, scientific role and with their determination, they never hesitated despite the threats, the offenses, and mocking uh, by those who live in the official buildings of the official or political health system and science is instead anywhere uh, you know where a person is seeking for the ultimate truth i would like to make an announcement next year we're going to repeat this event with the hope 
that those of you who accompanied us today are going to come back to tell us something new so that your knowledge might improve in this meantime uh, to advance the a certain assertion of truth and most of all uh, I would like to reply to um, Professor Bolgan because I, I think if the managers agree to call some virologists, we already have one international virologist here supported by Professor Giuliani. So to have these investigations and analysis performed in other labs. So those who are in charge of protecting our health will be supported by the National Border of Biologists. And we're going to support these investigations with the savings that we can uh, 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 achieve uh, by reducing our remuneration. I was uh, accused to uh, allocate seven million a sum for some parents that uh, had uh, children damaged by vaccination, and I do not wish to anyone to have children to be cared for when they become adult and parents are old. It's a tragedy. The disease is a tragedy for the family that uh, will mark the, uh, the life of the other relatives forever. And so when I think that faced with these problems, there are you know, persons that are so insensitive, faced with the pain of the people. We are answered that we need to, to trust with no common sense at all. So we are really disappointed. And full with indignation, those who are res uh, responsible and liable and played an obligation to the population to undergo vaccination, die these politicians should be ethical enough or sensitive enough to demonstrate to us that we are mistaking, if they can demonstrate this. And I have never, I never thought that Taro and others were, you know, wanting to impose their opinions. They constantly question themselves modestly. Instead, there are people who simply deny Taro or Giuliani just to be stars, TV shows, uh, TV shows, reassuring that everything is fine and that we, there will always be a happy ending in our lives. Well, I would like to draw my conclusions by saying that science has to be uh, authoritative, but we also have to use uh, to be ironic if you want and try to, be, to also to, to be self-ironic when we have to reply to uh, the, uh, those who oppose our opinion. So we have to beware of fools. And by the way, fools, as my professor said, of literature, beware of fools. Fools are not those who do not have ideas. Fools are those who believe in any of their own ideas. And so compared with those who struggle to demonstrate that their ideas are right, there, is a, uh, there are thousands of uh, fools who want to convince the others that because they have, due to the fact that they have self-convinced themselves, we have to follow their examples. 
this is not the case. So we're going to um, struggle to keep on our investigations. Uh, so Taro, Giuliani, and other important virologists will be on board. So if anyone could tell us that they are not they are unknown persons that will finally believe instead in their outstanding level of expertise. So we like to invite all the associations to be united, not to just to, to, to be protagonists. Uh, we need to fight uh, this struggle together. There will be no heroes. No winners and no losers. The battle that we are doing is for our children and our grandchildren to avoid, to prevent them to suffer from some years now from diseases that can be preventable. That's our goal. So we will not be awarded with a Nobel, Nobel Prize. We do not want any prize at all because the best prize is the respect and appreciation that we have towards ourselves. Thanks for coming.